सिस्टम इज लाइक अगर आपके घर में ये बड़ा ये घर का बड़ा है तो डिसीजन वही ले वही लेंगे यू नो एंड आई एम लाइक क्यों लेंगे Please do not judge somebody by who they are, what they think, and what they wear, etc., etc., etc. Everyone has certain things which are good and certain things which are not good. Right. Hello everyone welcome to peepingmoon.com I am Rashita Sahani and today joining me for a very interesting and important conversation are Preeti and Raj who who are all set to present us the Shahistan Hi Raj hi Preeti how have you doing Hey Rashita hey, all Rashita. good Hi hi Rashita Hi okay so um firstly tell me Raj and Preeti I watched the trailer it's pretty relatable as I was just telling Raj that how I could also personally relate to it so how was your you know uh time firstly making the film and then you know the hope that it might break some of the societal barriers and norms that we today have raj yeah okay so yeah rashita i mean i'm glad that you know and that is what we intend to do that it related to you and as you related to it we expect it to relate to everybody in the country especially women of all societies all beliefs all ideals um that is the idea you know that is the idea that is what we are trying to say with this film that uh, first of all please do not judge somebody by who they are what they think and what they wear etc 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 every one has certain things which are good and certain things which are not right and if we can tell them this is good about you but this maybe is not right and then you know it's up to you to and the second important aspect is choice and independence you know that arshi the 18 year old should have a choice to marry who she wants mm-hmm. when she wants how she wants rather than because her parents have a certain belief and certain ideals she doesn't she doesn't adhere to that she's not of that world you know and she cannot be pushed into that world just because society norms say yeah, that definitely. yeah, yeah. Uh, and just there's one line which is very very important in the film when she is in such a state that sasha kiki's character ask sirki you know if suppose you're not being married or what would you want to be what would you want to do you're in college what would you want to do? and she says with all this going up and in the thing that right now i just want to be you i just want to be as independent as you i just want to be you to have a choice to do what i want what you are doing so in that that one line sums up the film actually yeah i know i watched that in the trailer as well um yeah kiti uh so for me uh, rashita the film is about uh, freedom you know what it really means to be free uh, you could be a housewife you could be a sasha you could be an arshi you could be anybody um uh, but is this is this happening to you or is it your choice you know are you letting things happen to you uh, mm-hmm. by the way of the usko chahe aap conditioning bol lo usko chahe aap you know a certain system that we are used to yeah uh, somebody even uh, you know so many your family members sort of emotionally blackmail you into doing things uh, they might call it love you know they might call it their care and concern but bahut subtly aapko uh, they they push you in a direction which is not really which doesn't really feel your direction you know and this film is just about uh finding your direction without without getting affected by uh who wants what from you whose expectations who you need to please what is the society you are living in i mean for once take a moment to just ask yourself what is it that you want you know what is it that you want to be what where is it that you want to go so for me the film is about that conversation you know and then you can choose to be whatever you can you can choose to get married at the age of 18 you can get you can choose to not get get married at all you can choose to be single for the rest of your life you can uh, choose to have kids not choose to have kids you know sit at home be a housewife or be a working wife whatever and um, i mean while the film is being uh, uh, seen through the eyes of these three females i think this this uh, 
<clears throat> concept of choice that I'm talking about is as important for the boys and the men in our country. Yeah. You know, I will only talk about my country right now because this is where I live, because this is what I know, you know. And uh, even the men are not free to choose. Like, like we are, they are also the victims of the same thing that, that the women are. I mean, of course, uh, to an extent, girls and women are uh, victims of it more than the boys. Yeah. But uh, it's not very different for the boys because, because of the system that we live, into, live in, yeah. you know. And that, that uh, surpasses your gender. System is like, if you have a big house, this is a big house, then decisions will be there. You know? And I'm like, why will they Like, really, Sasha and I being Sasha through the film is questioning, why will they Give me, give me, explain to me, why will they take it? Yeah. What is their life? What are their dreams? What are their ambitions? What are their ambitions? When this... So I am saying this is this is a we do not have this atmosphere when we are when we are growing up in our in our family structure. Uh mm-hmm. ki generation, aajkal ke parents, phir bhi, you know, aajkal ke bachche jis se bade ho rahe hai. there is still an atmosphere of equality of uh just a conversation, just to, to you know make your kids expression. sit down and ask equality them. Equality yeah, expression. expression. Absolutely. I mean, uh, and we, a lot of us have, haven't had that because of our family structure. So it is questioning a lot of things that, you know, in a lot of ways in the film. And uh, I said the bottom line B, is it your choice? As simple as that. And also just Definitely, to add yeah. to that, add to that, yeah. uh, Rashita, is that, sure. you know, uh, just at one side, that there's a lot of accusation across key uh, women, of a certain, like, you know, when they're fighting for rights and fighting for certain things, this comes from the other section of the society, and Sasha tells Kamla that hum jaisi ko karni hai, taki aap jaisi ko aapki and that is also a very important point, because judge Kamla bahut asaan ho jata kisi ko. Similarly, Sasha tells Kamla ki, I am not, if you're a housewife, I'm not deriding that, I'm not telling you that you are wrong. My mother also does that. She is commendable. She has to go to the house, she has to go to the house, she has to go to the That's huge. I mean, that's, I mean, that's okay. more difficult than going out and getting a job and doing something on the job, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. And Sasha, it doesn't mean that, and so said, don't judge me because I'm not judging you on that, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm judging you on what you're doing to your daughter who's not like you. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. that's, that's, uh, yeah, completely agreed. And, uh, you know, Raj, I read uh, in one of your quotes that the film is inspired by something in your real life. So uh, was that uh, emotional value attached to the film while you, you know you were making it? Yeah, it is. See, uh, for me, as when, uh, whatever I've acted in till now or whatever I've uh, directed, I'm directing another film at the moment. Whatever I'm trying to do is something that I that's taken from life. Okay. Uh, put together in the form of a script and then a film and put it out there so that uh, I always give the example of Tari Zameen where you know cinema we have a soft power to say something you know and uh, Tari Zameen for the release we the so a lot of parents did not know that the children were dyslexic Tari Zameen for changed that you know so I believe that cinema has that soft power and through my mm-hmm. films if I can say something and even if a very small amount of people or something changes for somebody even if a girl who's like you know getting a married off un- without her choice and if the parents have a change of heart by seeing this film my job is done you know so that is what i'm trying to do and personal asking hai cheez hai because aapne zindagi mein jo dekhi hai ya aapne, i mean a lot of it comes from life or what you've seen and what you've heard and what you've experienced and you bring it at day that and that's a films are emotional right you bring in emotion yeah. to films if you don't emotionally feel about feel about that particular film or script or things that are happening, you will not be able to put it out in the right way. Agreed, yeah, completely. And uh, keep me talking about your character, Sasha. How similar is she to you, you know, in real life? She is also, you know, independent, strong and unapologetic. Um. You know, Sasha is is a far more uh, complex character than it seems on the surface of it. Like, uh, I know that people will 
in, you know immediately think of the adjectives you just uh, said you know when when they look at sasha but there is a lot more to sasha sasha is somebody who's very grounded you know her strength or her um, confidence that you see doesn't come from arrogance doesn't come from the attitude of i don't give a fuck no it mm-hmm. comes from the attitude of it comes from her understanding of her own self you know and finding her own self and finding her freedom um, she is somebody who the reason why she is so she comes across as so cool and so comfortable in her skin is because she is not seeking validation from the outside world mm. she is so comfortable you know finally she is so comfortable with herself and uh, if you ask me and she is somebody who is very non intrusive she is mm. not somebody who will go and tell you ye sahi kar ye ye galat hai mm. ye sahi hai aisa mat karo waisa mat karo she will she will be very passive she will be she will not speak a word till she really has to but when yeah. she has to she will she will speak her mind you know and even um, even that one very important conversation that she has with with nivedita's character which is kamla when they are cooking in the dhaba is mm-hmm. not made of let me tell you how to live your life yeah. you know it is about it is just about touching that nerve you know asking pertinent questions asking questions that will make you think you know that's who sasha is and yet she will leave you alone to deal with it she she will she will she'll not she she'll not finger you she will just uh maybe you know maybe try and take your attention to to things that you probably haven't thought about which are really important mm-hmm. so how close am i to sasha uh well today i would say i am i am uh like i would love to be sasha i think sasha is one character that i have played in my life that i have looked at her you know while exploring her while playing her and even after i have played her she has really stayed with me you know she has really made me uh want to be her you know and um um uh, I think when I was playing Sasha I might have been like a 5 of Sasha out of 10 today I think I'm like an 8 of Sasha so I am I'm getting closer to Sasha and I soon want to be a 10 on 10 you know as far as Sasha is concerned that's right said, yeah and uh, Araj of course you have been uh, an actor as well you have been into direction so why directing is there like a uh, you know an actor knew that or you sort sort of uh, tells that you know follow this approach to your characters to your actors or do you let them go with the flow see uh, the uh, advantage of being as actor is that understanding of an actor it's not about telling an actor ki mai jaise kar raha hu kaise kar raha hu is the mm-hmm. understanding of a, a process of an actor of an every actor has their own process every actor is sometimes you okay. might feel that somebody is not getting it so you just let them be you know you just it's not about telling so it's just the advantage is understanding the process of an actor and that because if you have actors like kirti and uh, she she gets it you know it just tell her this is what i'm feeling now you take it mm-hmm. on from here like the other three mm-hmm. uh, were non actors they've never acted before the three other three members of the band but i wanted to cast real musicians and not actors because the body language the vibe the the way the demeanor and also very importantly they know how to play the musical instruments it doesn't look fake you know so they brought in yeah. their own personality to the script so it's just about letting them know that this is the character this is the character is you now take it on from there where you falter i am there and i will help you you know but just use your own process and i think that is the biggest understanding an actor has for another actor kiti uh, you know earlier we did not see many female and women led projects in bollywood do you think with the help of web now we are seeing such a uh, you know diversity in cinema we are seeing such like for example your film shadistan you have also been a part of several women led films that talk about various subjects do you think it's also because web is playing a powerful point here uh so couple of things i think um in general our sense of uh, 
uh, cinema, our understanding of cinema is improving in terms of, uh, I'm not saying it was bad earlier, but yes, a uh, lot of times it just gets lost in the, in the commercial aspect of, you know, filmmaking and uh, you, it kind of takes a backseat. It becomes about okay, who's the face and uh budget hai, kitna paisa recover hoga. So so the important aspects get kind of sidelined. So now now because of OTT, because you don't have you don't have box offices, you don't have uh, people are not watching content on the basis of acha consa chehra hai, whatever it is. It is basically you are you are <laughs> you're basically seeing it and you're like, okay, I like this or I don't like this, right? Yeah. So, uh, because of that, the overall writing, the overall um, quality of uh, directors, writers, actors is is coming to the fore, is improving. That's one aspect of it. And yes, on top of it, you have kahani to kahani hoti hai, right? Or mm. achi kahani hoti hai ya kharaab kahani hoti hai, right? So, abhi agar aapko ladkiyo, uh, if you are if you are getting stories which can be represented by a female, you know, and which yeah. can represent that part of the society, then, then it's no more become about, acha ye male story hai, ye female story hai. And really, I'm seeing it, seeing it, I think, for after a long time, or maybe the first time where, where men, where male-led uh, stories and female-led stories are coming, are coming at par. You know, it's really become yeah. about, kahani kya hai? Kirdar yeah, kya hai, you know, than about acha ye male hai, acha ye female hai. So that that gender thing is kind of disappearing, which is which is what which is how it should be. I mean, your story should not do well because it's male led or female led. It's a it's a you know it's on the base merit of the story itself. On the so that is that is surely happening that uh, uh, female led stories are being accepted. That so many females and so many different sections of the society are being represented there's a lot of representation happening and uh, it is about representation and it's it's really to do with the demand right now you know uh, where yeah. people want to know pe- where people want to watch ki yaar mujhe iski kahani bhi dekhni hai mujhe uski kahani bhi dekhni hai mujhe janna hai ki iske iska iski duniya kaisi hai aur uski duniya kaisi hai you know so and that's yeah. what is leading everyone to push themselves and uh, Bottom line is there should be uh, good content, yeah, good stories. Female-led, male-led is not important at all. But uh, the way it's going right now, I think we are very much heading there. I'm sure. Yeah. And how do you take the, um, both of you, to the web release of the film? Do you think it will reach out to more people? And, uh, you know, since the concept of the film is also unique, more people are going to watch and like it and the word of mouth sort of is going to work. So a couple of things right now, uh, there is no theater release, you know, so OTT becomes automatically becomes your choice. You know, you have to go to it. But um, I am, I think personally more than glad that it's, it's, uh, it's coming out on OTT and uh, what OTT represents, you know, your OTT is, uh, is, it exa- you don't have to, it's like you don't have to reach out to people and say ki, Are theater aake meri movie dekho. Hmm. You know, it's literally like Jojo, aapke, or aapke film ke jo original target audience hai, just just ko hmm. aapki film appeal kar sakti hai, wo apne aap jurte jayenge, you know, right. over a period of time. I mean, and it's not even like, Are Friday hai, mere paas ek hafta hai, please aake dekh lo. Nahi, mere paas, main, I'm here. I'm here to yeah. stay. The film is here to stay. So please come and watch it whenever you feel like you're up for it and uh, see if it see if it appeals to you, you know. So that's one aspect of, aspect of it. I love the fact that it's a platform like Hotstar because uh, Hotstar has a huge number of, you know, viewership in India especially. And uh, and it has the kind of viewership that my our fa- our film kind of needs to reach to, you know. It's the it's the it's a lot of uh, young girls, it's a lot of housewives. I want Shadistan to reach all these people. And uh, of course the reach, yeah, like I don't have to worry about my film is reaching Canada, my film is reaching uh, USA, my film is reaching, you know, I don't know if there's hot star in Australia, but like even in I think London Singapore. as well, there is hot star Singapore. Mm-hmm. 
I'm, I'm sure there's UK as well. So my film is reaching everywhere, yeah? and uh, and I know for the for for the rest of my life, I'll keep people will keep visiting uh, or revisiting Shahdistan and keep messaging me on what the film did to them, which is yeah. which is the beauty of OTT. So I am more than glad that um, you know Hotstar uh, is doing this with us, and um, absolutely uh, grateful for it. That is great. Yeah, Raj. Raj, what about you? you? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Kirti pretty much uh, summed up what. Uh, see, the thing with uh, I always believe that cinema is here to stay. It's a great, I mean, it's yeah. a wonderful medium, and and people, it will always be there. Television will always be there. Uh, the advantage of uh, an OTT platform is that there are no slots and there are no timings and there are no, you know, like if I am free now, I can just watch it, yeah. you know, if I am traveling, I can watch it. If there's, you know, it's just that, you know, so it, that in that sort of a way, it reaches out to anybody at any point in time. If I, if I cannot sleep at 12 in the night or I, I can, you know, watch a film or a series mm -hmm. on OTT in that sort of way, it is not time bound. Uh, so yeah. that gives us a that gives us a huge access to a lot of people who may necessarily mm -hmm. not have watched a film or a series uh, because television is time bound. You know, it may be a serial ane wala ya film up three baje jao ya chhaye baje jao fir theater jao. So this is a huge advantage that OTT uh, gives us. You know, and it's great. And also the second thing is that OTT also is providing a huge platform for a lot of content to come out from a lot of talented people. For a lot of mm. directors, writers, actors, and and we have a choice to access all of that and watch what we want at that point of time, at any point of time. I'm sure agreed completely. Okay, I hope you know the OTT platform serves the purpose and the films watched by so many people. All the very best, Raj and Kirti, and you know I was it was a pleasure chatting with you too. Thank you, Likewise, so Rashita. Thank you Likewise. so much, Thank Rashita. Thank, Thank you so Rashita. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Take bye. care. Bye. Thank you. Take care.